What's up everybody, it's your boy Jaden, and today I am here with a comparison video of the Moto G7 Power and the Moto E5 E5 Plus. So, E5 Plus is on the right, G7 Power is on the left. And uh, let's start with the body of it. You can tell the difference by looking at the colors of it. As you guys can see, this is more of an emerald blue. This is more of a, a night blue. Pretty color, I really like this. This is too much for me. Uh, but, yeah. So, we have different comparisons right here. We have the cameras. I think, I believe both are 12 megapixels. We have flash. The E5, though, has uh, auto laser focus on it. So, that's why it looks kind of like a dual camera, but it's really not. We have dimple on the back, the Motorola, uh, let me focus this up, the fingerprint scanner, and then we both have the always on display, if this one will come on, like that, so they both come on when they want to, but on the front you have the 8 megapixel, you have the flash on the front, on the E5 Plus. Let's focus that up. And this is not two front cameras. One is a proximity sensor. This is the flash. So on the G7, you don't have the flash on the front. You just have the proximity sensor and the 8 megapixel camera on the front. I believe it's 8 megapixel on that one as well. You both have the Motorola branding on top. Camera bolt. It's about the same height with, on the other hand, <clears throat> uh, about the same width. I believe the E5 is a little bit wider, but on the top, it's very much the same. Bottom, this is where we get a little different here. If that's focused, you can see on the E5, you have micro USB. And on the G7, you have uh, G7 power, you have um, Type C. So that's the only difference there. Everything else is the same. Right there. Right there as well. If that can focus up. Boom. That's the same right there. So everything's pretty much the same. Let's get in the internals right quick. Let's listen to this stuff in the car. Okay. Let's get to settings. Settings of that one. So another difference is in in the internals we'll see is um, when you go all the way to I did this last time I don't know where it is system I believe oh yes system so when you go into the systems you see advanced for this one. That's not it. About. There we go. No. About. This is Android. On the E5 Plus, you have Android 8.0 uh, Oreo. And on the G7 Power, you have 9.0 Pi. So. That's the difference here. You have Pi on this one. I don't know if we're going to get Pi on the E5 Plus. This is my mom's phone. This is my phone. So I'm doing a, another thing. You can definitely see. Um, turn the camera just a little bit. Definitely see on RIP is you have a notch on the G7 Power. You don't have a notch on the E5. 
So basically that means that with that notch, I get a little bit more inch, like a 0.2 inch on the screen here. This is a six inch screen here on the, the E5. And on the G7 Power, it is a 6.2 inch. So that notch right there gives a little bit more 0.2 inch. So you can see right here where above power, it, you can see basically where the line would be right there for the bezel right there. But because we have that notch where the time and all that stuff is, that gives us a 0.2 inch advantage on the screen. Also, what I would like to point out is the difference in in the app drawer. My mom's phone, the E5, you can see through at that tray. That tray here, it's a white. Let's not go there. It's a white background for here. Here, again, like I said, you can see through the screen through the app drawer. Let's also go to another feature that I really like, my moto. Features moto actions. My moto actions are already pulled up. So basically everything is the same except on the G7 Power, you get a couple more features than you would on the E5. So the E5 does not have one button now, which is that button right here. If you turn that if I turn that off, it comes like that. Basically the same one button nav gives you a bar where if you swipe up you're going to your recent apps you push you're going home you uh, left you go back right takes you back swipes you through your stuff there which is pretty cool so I like that feature get really used to it Let's turn this back on. Um, let me see what else is different. Screenshot editor. E5 does not have screenshot editor. Media controls. Use the volume keys to change tracks when the screen is off. E5 does not have that. Lift to unlock. Basically a face recognition. I don't think E5 has that. If it does, it's in the settings itself, the lock settings. Let's actually check that out. Let's go to settings. Let's go to security. Um, let's go, yeah. So it, I'm pretty sure it's in there. I am, let me, so pretty sure that face recognition is, I know I can't pronounce the word, whatever, is in smart lock. But for here, it's in the moto actions, as you can see. So getting out of there, going back to moto actions. So basically the same things, we have three finger shot, fast flash, quick capture, shrink to swipe, pick up to stop ringing, and flip to do not disturb. It's basically all we have the same. Uh, media controls, screenshot editor, one button nav, or basically three ones that the E5 Play Plus, sorry, does not have or does not support with Moto Actions. So let me stop putting my hands in here because that's probably why it's messing up. Um, <clears throat> the cameras are pretty much the same. If we go to camera, pretty much the same. You have basically, you get more stuff with the G7 Power than you do the E5. So we both get YouTube Live, we get slow motion, and we get panorama. For the G7 Power, we get portrait, spot color, cinemagraph, uh, live filter, AR stickers, time lapse. And as you can see on the E5, you don't get any of that. Let's go to settings. So settings, go to video size. The E5 only supports, let me focus that up. Uh, 
can't really see that. Let me put it closer. E5 only supports Full HD 1080p 30 frames per second, basically. And as you can see very clearly on the G7 Power, it goes up to 4K Ultra HD 30 frames per second. Or you can go down to 60 frames, Full HD 1080p, or the 30 frames, Full HD 1080p. But I'm going to stick with the 4K Ultra HD. Stay tuned for a video on that. You can change the photo size. Of course, you both have that. Um, selfie photo mirror. You have that on the G7 power. You do not have it on the E5. We have uh, capture settings. We both have shutter sound. Uh, the grid. Tap anywhere to capture. Quick capture. We have watermark and a leveler on the G7 power. We do not have that on the E5. Play. Plus. E5 plus. I keep getting play and plus confused. But that's pretty much it on the camera video settings. Let's go to front screen. So front screen, basically you have the same on the G7 power and the same on the E5 uh, plus the same on the back, basically. Um, I don't know if this is actually correct for the front. Please leave a comment below if this is correct, if the front camera records in full 4K Ultra HD as well. Um, please let me know. Oh, here we go. I just answered my question. No, it is not. It's just full HD. So this is the rear camera, the back camera, 4K, the front camera, full HD, or 720p. Let's go for this one. Selfie cam, full HD. Let's go back to this. Rear camera, <clears throat> full HD as well. So another different thing, if you guys see, I had to switch the camera to get different options. For the G7 Power, it's here. It's all in one setting. So you have rear camera and it tells you what it does. And then you have selfie camera and it tells you how it is. So that's pretty cool right there. What else do I want to show you on 13 minutes already? Um... Basically, that's basically just it. Oh, let's uh, do the fingerprint scanner. Security. Let me set up this fingerprint real quick. drop test. Let's not do that again. Alright, three, two, one. So let me get off the camera right quick. Let me exit all this. Alright. Three, two, one. G7 power definitely a lot faster. So G7 power definitely a lot faster. I'm gonna tell you. Three, two, one. If you guys saw the glowing, this glue first, this glowed first, this was a, a tad bit late. So three, two, one. Oh, that was actually pretty fast. Three, two, one. I messed that one up one though. That one. Three, two, one. Yeah. So G7 power is definitely faster than the E5 play. So that was it guys, definitely uh, my review 
well, comparison of the G7 power and the E5 play, plus, 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 E5 plus. Battery life, both of them are 5,000 milliamp hour battery, turbo charge for both chargers, and definitely fast charging, definitely. But as you can see, my winner would be the G7 power over the E5 plus, but if you guys... <clears throat> 205 for me out the door, 225 for my mom buying this. So if you guys want to go with the best one, I recommend the G7 Power over the E5 Plus. But that's just my opinion. You guys saw for yourself. So that was my little comparison of the G7 Power and the E5 Plus. See you guys in the next one. Peace.